Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the decorator pattern in a React application. The decorator pattern is a design pattern in which a decorator wraps an object to add additional functionality to it. In a React application, we can use higher order components to implement the decorator pattern. So a higher order component is a function that takes a component as an argument and returns a new component that wraps the original component. Here is an example of how we can create a higher order component to add authentication to a functional component. First, I'm going to create a new folder over here and let's just call it as components. Inside it, I'm going to create a new file and let's just call it with auth.jsx. To create this with auth higher order component, the first thing that I will do is I will create a function with the name with auth. So with auth is a function, actually it's an arrow function and then we will also export it as a default module. So export default with auth. Now this with auth function is going to accept a component as an argument and then it is going to decorate this component and then it is going to return the decorated component and thus we will implement the decorator pattern using this with auth higher order component so we are going to return this decorated component as a function component these are the props for this component so basically with auth is there to implement a protected component if a user has logged in then we are going to return the wrapped component otherwise we are going to return a message that the user is not logged in in ideal case we normally just push to the history the login route but in this case we just want to see how the higher order component is going to decorate this wrapped component so for that i'm just going to add a condition if not props dot is authenticated then we are going to return a div with a message which will say user is not authenticated otherwise we will simply return the wrapped component with the props now when we are done with this with auth component it is now time to create the protected component but before that let me just fix this typo over here for wrapped component now i'm going to create a new file and let's just name it as protected component.jsx i will use the rafce shortcut to have the boilerplate for a functional component and this protected component let's just keep it like this we don't need to change anything over here but when we are exporting it then we have to wrap it in the with auth higher order component and that's pretty much everything that we need to do now when we will use this protected component in our application it will only be rendered if the user is authenticated so to use this protected component in app.js i am going to remove everything from the return block and I am going to import the protected component and then we just have to render it over here but we need to provide the is authenticated props value so if I will provide the value as true it will mean that the user is authenticated let's now see if our code is working in the web browser you can see over here protected component is written now let's just change the value of is authenticated to false and now it says user is not authenticated this is how we can implement the decorator pattern using a higher order component that would be everything this video has to offer i hope you found it helpful if you do please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for staying updated with more videos like this thanks for watching